Hey everybody and welcome to Aegis Cozy Crochet Corner where today on the corner we have a crochet fam requested video for granny square bags. I absolutely enjoy making granny square bags and I make them all the time. So I would love to show you two different ways to make this bag. We can do a three by three bag or we can do a three by four bag which I consider the bigger tote. So let's get our hooks in the air. Let's grab our granny squares and let's get to the table. We've seen the bag that we're going to work on today, but I wanted to show you kind of like the end result up close. Now, this is a lovely bag with black siding. And this is the other side. But what I really wanted to show you about the bags is the lining. So look at this before we even get into the tutorial. We are over here doing a little review the lining on the strap because uh, yeah it's it's no stretch this is a pocket right here i wanted to show you how nice it can look on the inside when you do line your bag um and how it looks but that is the inside of one of the bags and let me show you another one just because they're so cute this is another one this one is very, very nice. I did the same block all the way over this one. And also this gives you a little inspiration for what colors maybe you want to use. And this one has a pocket as well. This one might be easier to see than the black one. So I wanted to bring in a second one. Um, and as you see, the straps go down before the lining on the inside of the bag and it's lined all the way course to the bottom just adorable so yes i'm going to show you how to make the bags but i will not show you how to line the bags um so if you i wanted to make sure i show you so you can get an idea on or how it looks lined but it looks absolutely amazing unlined as well so let us get right into this tutorial and show you everything you need Okay, everybody, so we've gone over the three by three bag and the three by four bag. So once you know how many squares you need, let me show you how the square needs to be worked up. So let's look at one of our squares. If you need a tutorial on how to make the granny square, you can look on my page and I have a tutorial to show you how to make your granny square. Now, with the granny square, we only want it to be four rows and we're going to do them with a 4.5 millimeter hook so all of your squares must be four rows and we're going to do them with the four by five millimeter hook now if you want a smaller bag you can use a 3.5 millimeter hook but you will still do four rows on each square now with all of my squares i chose to have blue and then tan as my constant on the squares and only the first two colors have i changed around on all of my squares because i thought that would be cute so you can make your squares however you want to and this would be a great scrap yarn project as well so work up all your squares and just have a base color on the end now today in this tutorial we'll be doing a three by four bag and that's because that one will be able to cover the three by three and a three by four joining is something that i teach on my channel as well and i have a video for joining but i will go over the basic join one time uh to show you how to do it because it's very simple to join your square now we have three squares together now once you put two squares together i refer to this as a panel a panel of two once i add another square onto it that is now a panel of three okay 
So each row built together is a panel. And we'll get into it and you'll understand it way easier by the time we finish. So this is the front of our square and this is the front of this square. We always want to join with our squares, the wrong side facing out and the right sides facing each other. We're going to take our 4.5 millimeter hook. The same hook we use to make our squares and we're just going to enter into one of the corners well both of our corners grab our yarn and we're going to add our yarn on and chain one pull down now we're going to go right back into that same corner grab our yarn come up and we're just going to make a single crochet we're now going to just match up our double crochets here with our double crochets in the back and make single crochets all the way until we get to this corner so i want to go into the first double crochet in the front and the first one in the back and pull up and make a single crochet and again we're going through the second one in the front and the second one in the back grabbing our yarn coming up and making a single crochet again we're going through the third one in the front and the third one in the back and grab our yarn come up and make a single crochet then we'll go to our next group and we'll go through the first double crochet in the front and the first double crochet in the back and make our single crochet and we'll go through the second one and make our single crochet and the third one and make our single crochet now this should be very easy to do lining them up because the squares are identical so we'll go to the next group and we'll do the same we're going through the front and the back at the same time and making a single crochet we'll go through the front and the back and make a single crochet and again we'll go through the front and the back at the same time and make a single crochet and the next ones front and back single crochet front and back single crochet go through the front and the back and make a single crochet and once we get to our corner we're going to go inside our corner grab our yarn and come up and make a single crochet once we've gotten to the end we'll cut our yarn chain one pull through All right. and then we have our join we're then going to lay that right there on top the right sides facing each other lay that right down place our hook in our corner well both of our corners grab our yarn and we're going to add our yarn on and chain one pull down and then we're going to go right back into that corner grab our yarn come up and make a single crochet and then the same way we're just going to go through the first double crochet in the front and we're going to find the first double crochet in the back and we're going to make single crochets 
So we're just going to keep matching up our stitches. We're just matching up our stitches all the way till we get to the next corner. What we do in the front, we want to be doing in the back. Where we are in the front, we want to be in the back. And we'll do that all the way till we get to a corner. And once we get to a corner, we're going to go inside our corner and make our final single crochet joining our corners together, cut our yarn, and chain one, pull through. Now we open this up and we have joined our three granny squares together. And now this is a panel of three, a panel of three granny squares. Now to make our front and our back, okay? So we're gonna be making our front piece and our back piece for our bags. We'll need one, two, three, four panels of three, okay? So you'll have to join three together, four times so that's going to give us our three by four now if you want to do a three by three bag you move that aside we're just looking at these three panels and then you're just going to be making three panels of three so one two three on each panel and then we'll have a three by three bag now I just want to show you how to join these together. So I'll just go down one to show you how to bring these together with that. So the first thing we want to do is again, front always faces down onto front. And we just want to look at the long piece like this, because this is where we want joint. So I'm going to go through my corner here and I'm going to go through my corner here. I'm going to grab my yarn again. And I'm going to add my yarn on, chain up one and pull down. Now I'm going right back into that corner, grabbing my yarn and come up and make a single crochet matching again the front with the back we want to begin making our single crochets all the way down joining the front and we're on to the next one in the front and the back we're on to the next one in the back and make a single crochet and again we're going through the front and the back at the same time and joining them together with a single crochet. So we're going to do this the same way we added one by one and to make our panels. We're going to go all the way matching. And it's very easy because there's three here, three here. So if I'm on the second one here, I should be on the second one in the back. All right, and again, go through the front and the back and make a single crochet. And the front and the back and make a single crochet. And this is our last one. And now we've come to our corner. So we want to make sure we go into our corner in the front and in the back and single crochet. 
Now we have this join area here where we've already joined our granny squares. We're going to skip over the join and go right into the next corner. So when we're putting our panels together, we're not going to work over the join. We're going to jump over the join and go to the next corner and go right into the first double crochet here and find the first one in the back and go through the first one in the back and make our single crochets. So the only difference here when we're adding the panels together is that we have to jump over the joint areas. So you go from one corner right to the next corner, jumping right over the joint. And everything should match up. If it hasn't matched up, then you might have skipped. And this is our last one here. So here's the last one here. And we got to make sure we get the last one in the back as well. And make our single crochet. And then we're at our corner. So we want to go in our corner. And make that single crochet. And then we'll ignore the join and jump over the join and go right into the next corner. And we'll go in our corner and make our single crochet. And then we'll find the first double crochet here in the front. And we'll find the first double crochet in the back. And then we'll just continue to join. Matching up our stitches front and back at the same time. All right, I'm at the one before the last, so I'll go into that and go into that one. And then I'm at my corner, so I'm going into my corner and making a single crochet. We'll cut our yarn, chain one, and pull that through. And we'll open this up. And that is how we're going to join our panels. So now, if, again, if you're making a three by three, you're going to join your next panel together. If you're making a three by four, you are now going to join all four of them together. And remember, we should have two of these. So I'll go ahead and join mine together and we'll get our second one. So we have our three by four panel for the front and we have our three by four panel for the back. So now that we have two of them, let's move this out of here so we can get our squares together to go around for our side pieces. Now, I have already joined together for my side piece because I'm doing a three by four bag. I need 10 granny squares joined together. If you are doing a three by three bag, then you're going to need nine granny squares joined together. So that's one panel with all our squares on it. And we're going to move this out and bring our squares back in. Now, remember, we always join on the outside. So we're going to put this one down. And I'm going to lay this wrong side up. Now, I usually would weave in all my ends before I begin, but I wanted it to be absolutely obvious that I was on the wrong side here. Now, I want to take my panel
And my panel is simply going around like this. Right. So it's literally going to go around So how we're going to join this on, we're just going to take one top panel and we're going to start with this one at the top. And we should have three, no matter what size, you should have three squares that you have to join down first. So we've already gone over the joining. So we'll go ahead and join this down. So I have come to the end of my third square and I'm not going to cut my yarn. I just want to turn it so we can get a clear view that the first three are locked down. Okay. Now that we get the first three locked down. We're simply going to start on the bottom, right? So first three there. Now we're just going to bring it down and work across our bottom of our bag. So we're going to start right in the corner and make these ones match up, okay? So I'm going through the corner. Now as we turn this, we're going to be using the same corner to begin working this square from the bottom. And we want to go back to matching up our squares. And we'll go all the way to the end bottom of our bag. Now I'm doing the three by four. So I have four granny squares going across so I'll go down four squares if you are doing a three by three then you'll go down three squares until you get to the other edge of your bag
All right, so I have gone into my last corner right there. And we can see how our bag is coming together. And now we should just have three more squares for both bag types to go all the way up to the top. So let me turn my bag slightly. And again, we should have three more squares, both bag types to go all the way to the top with. Now, as we turn this, we're going to be using the same corner to begin working this square from the bottom. And join our corners and then find our first stitch and make our single crochets all the way down matching our last side I just finished my last corner and I'm going to cut my yarn and chain one and pull through. Now looking at this, we can see, let's turn it over, let's move this other piece out of here. And you can see it sits up kind of like this, okay? All right. So now I want to take my other piece, and this is the front. So I want to take my other piece and put that down. And now we're going to join up here. So we're going to match these. We're going to start from the top. And we're going to come down to the bottom. And then just like we did in the back, we're going to stop there. But then when we come here, we're adding here and we're adding this. All Both of these come from this one corner. And we'll do the same all the way around. Just remember your corners when you join the this square this way this corner is connected here but when you turn and do this one this square this square is also going to start in that corner because you're connecting this square on both sides okay and the same thing for this corner when we get here we're going all the way here we're connecting this corner with this square, but we're also connecting it on the side of that square. So this corner will be in this corner and this corner will be in this corner. All right. The same thing it was on the other side. And then we'll go all the way up to the top. So since we did one side walk through together, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And we'll go over the corner points again. 
Okay, so I'm at my corner and this is going to be the same corner that we are start back out in and the bottom. So I've made it down first three. And then as I turn and go to the bottom, so we also will reuse this square's corner to go into this corner again. This is the same square we just worked on right here. So I want to go into that corner again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the next corner and I'll come back in and go over that corner as I go around. Okay, now this is my last corner and then we'll be going up. It's the corner of the bottom of my bag. Now, we want to go into the next corner going up that's the very next granny square and then we want to grab this corner so we just worked in this corner going this way but again we're going to grab that corner and make our single crochet so remember, that is the key. You're going in that corner when you're going along the bottom. And you're going in that corner when you go up because you're using that square here as well. All right. And now I'm just going to keep going up to the top of my bag and join together the last of my three squares. So I am going through my last corners. They are joined together. I'm going to cut my yarn and then we're going to chain one and pull through. So we're here we have our bag. So let's turn this on the right side. So now that we have it joined and it's on the right sides, so we see our three by four. Like this is going to make a great bag, right? And then our sides. And now you can always use a smaller block to do your sides. Um, I was going to wait to bring that in, but I want to show you this now. This is a bag I've done. And it's, as you see, it's exactly like that one the three by four. But the only thing different is, is I took and put a solid granny square all the way around my sides instead of the granny square that matched the rest of the bag. And that's less side, as you can see. This is more side, this is less side. Now I did the solid granny square with two rows now there is a tutorial on my channel to show you how to make a solid granny square um, you would only make it till you get to the second row and once you're finished with the second row and off since the solid granny square was smaller than the circle granny square it took me two of them to compensate for the size of one of these okay so there are more of them but it's two for one so and if you like this i have the tutorial to show you how to make the circle granny square as well but i wanted to bring that in to show you that you can do something different on the sides if you want less space on your sides for either bag our bag is almost done now i want to take and make a row of single crochet at the top So I'm going to go about here just to start and working on the right side now, want to add on my yarn. Chain one, 
line and pull that down. And then I'm going to go back in, grab my yarn, come up and make a single crochet. Now I'm just going to single crochet one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. When I get to corners, then we're going to go ahead and go in the corner and make our single crochet. Just to give the bag a nice edging. Okay, so once you get to the corners, you just want to go right in that corner. Grab your yarn and come up and make your single crochet. We're not working anything over the joints. I'm going to go right on the other side. Go in that corner. Pull up. And make my single crochet. And keep going. So go all the way around your bag as well. And I'll see you on the other side side when we come back to where we begin. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Now I am back to where I begin. I want to make sure I go into that last corner. I don't want to forget that. And then once I get there, I just want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. All right. So I'm going to go inside that single crochet, grab my yarn, pull it through and pull it through the other side and then cut my yarn chain one and pull it through now if you decide to go around two times that's fine but it just gives the top a nice crisp edge now if you decided that you want to put the little button latch on your bag I'm going to show you how to do that here now I told you we'll need two different hook sizes so I'm going to put this hook size down and I'm going to bring in my 3.5 so wherever I want it to be and this is the middle of the bag all right these are my sides I'm deciding to put this right in the middle of the bag. So however wide I want this, and you can choose your width, but I usually like to do go over seven stitches. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm gonna start here. What we wanna do is grab our yarn, and bring it through and chain one and pull that down. Now I'm going to go right back into that same stitch, grab my yarn, and make a single crochet. I'm now going to single crochet over the next seven stitches. So this is one, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Again, if you want this larger, then you just make more single crochets to start the base. All right, now we're just going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. And now I'm going to go right back into that first single crochet and place another single crochet and I'm going to single crochet all the way across this row by the end I should still have my seven single crochets I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And 
And now I'm going back into that first stitch. I'm going to go right in there and place a single crochet. And we're going to single crochet all the way down this row. And every row it's going to have seven single crochets. And we will just keep doing this exact thing. Chain one, turn your work. And single crochet in the first stitch and every stitch. So just go ahead and do work this up until you have 11 total rows. And once you get to the 12th row, we'll go over the next step. Okay, so I have my 11 rows and now for row 12, we want to make our button opening. Okay, so we're going to still go into that first stitch and make our single crochet. We're going to go into our second stitch and make a single crochet. Now we're going to chain one, two, three. And that is going to be for our button. So we're going to skip one, two, and three. And we're going to go into the fourth stitch from that point and make a single crochet and go into our last stitch and make a single crochet. So you should have two single crochets, a chain three space, and two single crochets. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to go right back into that first stitch and place our single crochet and the second stitch single crochet now for your chain three i'm going to go into my chain three area two times one and two and now we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And the last stitch, a single crochet. So our chain three area, again, we changed it to two stitches by going in there only twice. So that means our next row will have one less stitches. So we should have six single crochets all the way across. Chain one and turn your work. Going into our first stitch, we're going to make our single crochet and we'll single crochet all the way down this row. And again, this row should have six single crochet on it. Chain one and turn your work. And this row, I'm just going to slip stitch down this entire row. Right? So we're going to go into our stitch, grab our yarn and pull up. And then we're going to pull through the loop on our hook. Right? And the next stitch, we're going to go in, grab our yarn, pull up. And then we're going to go through the loop on our hook. And again, go through. Grab, pull up, and go through the loop. So we're just slip stitching. Six times. And once we're done with that, we're going to cut our yarn. Chain one, pull through, and then pull that down, and we'll weave that in. And that is our buttonhole. Okay. 
Okay, so that's where our button hole is going to be. Now, I'm not going to put this button down just yet because I'm not sure if this is the button I want to use. But my button will be about right here to give you an impression of what it look like. Look, what it looks like. <laughs> my button will be about right there. And you want to make sure your button can go through your hole. So that is it with the actual bag. Now we have to make our straps to go on our bag. So let's do that now. So we're going to be using our 3.5 millimeter hook. And I've already made one of the straps. The same thing that we just did for our closure is what we're going to do here. Let me show you how to get started on making it. So I'm using the color that the rest of my bag, the main portion is made with. And I want to get my yarn on my hook. And because I'm doing eight, I want to chain one more. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So if you're doing six, then your foundation chain would be seven. So not in that first chain from the hook, but in the second chain from the hook, we want to go in there and make our single crochet and then make a single crochet in every chain. Okay, so I have eight single crochets. Now I want to chain up one and turn my work. Going into the first single crochet, I'm going to make another single crochet. And I'll do that down all of my stitches, just making single crochets. Chain one and turn your work. And again, you're going to go into the first one and make a single crochet and single crochet in every stitch thereafter. Chain one and turn your work. You should have eight single crochet on every single row. You'll always start in the first. And you will always chain one, turn your work after the last. And once you get to your last row, you want to chain one and pull through. Okay, so I'm bringing my bag back in um, because I, I want to show you this. So I'm showing you guys where I have it placed on the outside because this is where it's going to be in the inside in the same order. Um, the reason why I'm not putting mine down is I send my bags uh, to be lined and the straps get lined and the inside of the bag gets lined and the process of putting on the strap is done in the course of that. But normally when my bags are lined, as you saw from earlier, the strap goes inside the bag and put down. Um, but if you would like to, you can always just sew, hand sew this down on the outside or 
as I did with my other bags. Those in the inside. And you would take the color that you're working with, your main color. And I used to sew them down like that. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to show you it with it on the outside so you can see where it's placed on the inside because I have all these oh, strings everywhere. So that's kind of the idea where it's placed. But yeah, so that's where they're going to be in the inside. And isn't it lovely? And you can go ahead and put that down. And these bags are great, even unlined. I just love them lined. But you will see this bag when it's finished. So I will make sure I um, updated on a conversation of the corner so you can see how the inside turns out because I have yet to pick out the colors that I want to go inside this bag. Don't forget to put this, <laughs> um, the other one on. So you, you have two of these and one goes on the other side okay so exact same placing on the other side and you can grab your tote and be on the go so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and check out some of the other tutorials you'll find on the channel as always i will see you guys in the comments make sure you like this video subscribe if you have not subscribed um and we will see you next time all right and thank you for our uh, crochet fam who suggested that I do this video. So with much love, thank you.